This is VOA News. Reporting by remote, I'm David Byrd. The Biden administration is launching a massive bid to tackle climate change and is elevating the very idea to a national security priority. AP's Sagar Magani has details. After years of Trump administration moves, he says worsen the destructive effects of climate change. The president says the U.S. must act. We can't wait any longer. Laying out the most ambitious American effort yet to slow global warming caused by humans. He's aiming to cut oil, gas, and coal emissions and double energy production from offshore wind turbines. It's all politically risky. And while Republicans are blasting the president's moves as job killers. It's about jobs. Good paying union jobs. Saying America will invest in workers to develop, build, and install clean energy technologies. Sagar Magani, Washington. The U.S. Federal Reserve is pledging to keep its low interest rate policies in place until the coronavirus pandemic is well behind the world. AP's Ben Thomas reports. We're going to remain accommodative until we actually see improvement in the economy and not just Uh, in the outlook. And Federal Reserve Board Chairman Jerome Powell says the economy will remain at risk as long as the pandemic persists. I mentioned bars and restaurants. That's 400,000 jobs we lost last month, month. And that's all because of the spread of the pandemic. For its part, the Fed is keeping its benchmark short-term interest rate pegged near zero and will keep buying Treasury and mortgage bonds to keep longer-term rates down. He says Congress's relief bills have helped, too, but ultimately... Getting the pandemic under control, getting everyone vaccinated, getting people wearing masks and all that, that's the single most important economic growth policy. Ben Thomas, Washington. Be sure to log on to our website, voanews.com. This is VOA News. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security issued a national terrorism bulletin Wednesday warning of the lingering potential for violence from people motivated by anti-government sentiment after President Joe Biden's election. The warning suggested the January 6th riot at the U.S. Capitol might embolden extremists and set the stage for additional attacks. The department did not cite any specific plots, but pointed to a heightened threat environment across the United States that it believes will persist for weeks after Biden's inauguration. It is not uncommon for the federal government to warn local law enforcement through bulletins about the prospect for violence tied to a particular event or date, such as July 4th. The new top U.S. diplomat, Anthony Blinken, is pledging to work with core allies and partners to confront complex global challenges while investing in a diverse and inclusive American Foreign Service. Blinken was officially welcomed to the State Department Wednesday for the first time as Secretary of State after the U.S. Senate voted 78 to 22 Tuesday to approve him. In remarks to State Department employees, Blinken said that they will play an important role in the leadership position the U.S. will have moving forward. We're in the arena together. We do work that matters. So let's meet this moment, our moment, with joy. Blinken has pledged to be a leading force in the administration's bid to reframe the U.S. relationship with the rest of the world after for years in which President Donald Trump questioned longtime alliances. International Olympic Committee President Thomas Bach says it's not a question of whether the Tokyo Olympics will be held this year, but how. AP's Ed Donahue reports. The Olympics were supposed to be held last year. The pandemic pushed it to this year. Bach says talk of another schedule change is damaging to the athletes who are preparing. We are not speculating of whether the games are taking place, we are working on how the games uh, will uh, take uh, place. Box says they are preparing for 2021 the same way Olympic athletes prepare. With uh, all the the physical and uh, mental uh, strength uh, we can uh, Uh, We can have box says athletes and workers at the Olympics should not be allowed to jump the line, but advise they get vaccinated. I met Donahue. Cloris Leachman, an Oscar winner for her portrayal of a lonely housewife in The Last Picture Show and a comedic delight as the fearsome Frau Blucher in Young Frankenstein and neighbor Phyllis on the Mary Tyler Moore show has died. She was 94. Reporting by remote. I'm David Bird, VOA News. 